Cover crops are essential to many of the forage systems here in Oklahoma. Alex, you guys are doing some research into a crop that has been on the North American con continent before, but is being researched here in Oklahoma. Right, so we are researching tepary bean as a cover crop and also as a forage, or not, not why we can say both of them at the same time, right? So tepary beans, it's unbelievable when we would say about that, but this is originated here in southwestern United States, northwestern Mexico, around the Arizona, New Mexico border with Mexico. But that was important, imported, I'm sorry, uh, to Africa. And there they are producing beans, eating the beans, and also using uh, the forage, uh, what remains uh, to feed animals like cattle. So, and it worked pretty well there. You can see that it's a very leaf material, right? And we have also nice stems that's not very well lignified, that means less lignin, that means that it has a high digestibility. So uh, it looks like to be a very good candidate as a forage during uh, this time of the year that we know that we don't have much rain, Bermuda grass is doing not so good, alfalfa looks stressed, so that can be a saver for producers. This plant is actually, uh, it, it, it has a short growing season and, and can actually potentially be kind of wedged in between some of the winter crops. Exactly, exactly right. So believe it or not, we plant that uh, around June 21. What you are seeing here is growth of 55 days. Right. So that's what we got here. And right now, based on research that we had done in past, uh, I can assume that we have here about 2.5 tons per acre, I would say 5,000 pounds of forage per acre. And the crude protein of that right now, I would guess is around 20, 21 percent, and a TDN of 65 to 68. In other words, a very good forage. And we just come and prepare the seed bed on this area and that area also. And we planted. And look what we got with no herbicide use. Yeah. And if you just left the fallow without any management, look what we are getting there. Right. right. So you can see that we really can have good growth with this plant and just with so far six inches of water. You, you, there, there's been research, some of your research partners that have worked with you in, in developing this for uh, to, to get to this stage. So yeah. Uh, I had partnered uh, in the last years with the Grazing Lands Laboratory, Research Laboratory in El Reno. Right. And we had done research for two years and we found tremendous good results. Mm -hmm. And we just found out that this plant is very drought tolerant. And even more drought tolerant than other uh, legumes well known by being drought tolerant such right. as guar. And also being short cycle after we have all the last rainfalls during summer to put into the ground mm -hmm. and produce it about 30 to 50 percent more forage than other legumes. Right. So that's why I am putting my cards on this crop to study in future. And we hope that in next years we are going to have a management uh, developed for, for using this uh, Cover forage here in Oklahoma. Thank you very much, Dr. Alex Rocatelli, forage systems specialist here at Oklahoma State University.